is a delightful woman and we know from Desperate Housewives, but she's not here tonight to promote her show. She's working with the charity website, ahomeinhaiti.org, to help bring shelter to the homeless in Haiti. Please say hello to Eva Longoria Parker. <laughs> What is this you've brought here? Cascarones. Cascarones. Yes, they're what we use um, for Easter. We hide these eggs and then, um, you want me to show you what we do? Yeah. So we hide these eggs and then we crack them on your head. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of fun. You know Cascarones? Kudos yeah. Daddy, Daddy used to do that to me, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you know what we do? We fill them with candy and let. <laughs> this you could get them ugly. With candy. When Tony married me, he he doesn't even call it Easter. He's like, when is the egg battle? The egg battle. Yeah. Your husband Tony Parker is an NBA player. Yeah. It's not much of an egg battle though, because you probably can't reach his head, I can know. you? Nobody has gotten him. And nobody's ever gotten. No. Nobody will ever get him. Like my little cousin is a little girl. She's like, Uncle Tony, can I crack it on your head? And he took it from her hand and he went, Pah! <laughs> yeah. He didn't well. even let her do it. <laughs> it is. That he is goes, what Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, you gotta have one of the guys on the team do it to him. In fact, maybe at halftime or something. That'd be a nice, <gasps> be a nice Easter. Well, the Lakers. But, you're, but yeah, exactly. But um, Tony's, Tony's injured right now. Right? I could do it while he's on the bench because he's not playing. Absolutely, do it to him while he's on the bench. What's going on with him? He hurt his hand. He or broke something? his hand. Yeah. Yeah. And when will he be back? By playoffs. Oh, he'll be back by the playoffs. So do yes. you still go to the games when he's not there? Yeah. Oh, well, well that's he goes. He has to go. Okay, yeah, but yeah. He's, well, when he's not playing, though, you sit there and watch him sit. Well, I drink in the family room. You drink in the family room. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, oh, I heard you just you opened a nightclub in Las Vegas. Yes, you I have opened. Your restaurant well, there. Baso number two, Baso Vegas is uh, opened, and then we have a nightclub on top called Eve, and so we opened at New Year's Eve. On New Year's Eve? Well, yes. that's, that's uh, appropriate. And do you hang out there a lot? I do. Is it fun having your own nightclub? I mean, it you really, is. You know it's like what? being Tony Soprano. It's so fun. I didn't mean to ever be in the nightclub business, but it's a lot of fun. So every time I go to Vegas, we kind of have like a home, me and my friends, and we, we can get whatever we want. Uh, yeah, you get right in. There's no yeah. problems. There's no line. Yeah, no line for you. Do you have one of those deals where they decide who's who gets in based on how attractive they are? I don't, I don't know how they work the door. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I think that's the way you have to do it, and especially well, in Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> you should have eggs there for people to smash on each other's heads. <laughs> Bring a little Easter to Las Vegas. I should. I'm, I think I'm going to do that. Well, this is going to be a weird transition, but we should talk about this charity organization that yes. you're working with. Yes. Um, while I have egg all over my head. <laughs> it's a, it's called a homeforhaiti.org. It's a website. Uh, rainy season is coming to Haiti uh, any day now. And that's so, bad. Yeah, there's 700,000 homeless Haitians still today and once um, the rain comes there's uh, mud it carries malaria and typhoid and Haiti's still not really structured to set up uh, to handle those kind of diseases that are really simple and curable but right. for elderly and young kids and people recovering from injury it's it's really devastating and so we're trying to get tents there as fast as we can right so you can go to this website and you click and the tent is sent for and you, you. Don't, the tent gets sent to me you don't have to go to like the big five no. and buy a tent and mail it to Haiti or anything no. like that no it's very you Convenient. Can sit on your ass. You can bleep that out, right? No, no, ass is fine. We can okay. say it. Yeah. It's you all right. You can sit on your bum. I'm going to be like the first guest. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> you can sit on your bum and from your office to your home, and you click, and literally tents are sent for you. And That's uh, great. We're trying to do 100,000 tents in two weeks, which that is really That would be impressive. great. That would be nice, really especially impressive. around the Easter holiday. It's a nice thing yeah. to do. Now, this, um, all, I want to ask you about this because. Obviously, you are uh, known for your Latina roots, mm -hmm. and you, well, you 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 produced the Alma Awards. Yeah, you did a what a DNA test recently? Is that yes. what it was? Do you know what's so crazy? Uh, I was on this show called American Lives, and they do your genealogy, and they take your DNA, and they can tell you exactly where you come from. Right. And so uh, my whole life I'm like, I'm Mexican, I'm really, I'm a proud Mexican-American, and I swear I was an Aztec princess in my past life. Of course. And, <laughs> and then I do the blood test and I'm 75% Spaniard. 75% Spaniard? Yes, it but totally screwed isn't me up. Isn't everyone, uh, most everyone from Mexico, not mo but a lot of people? There's a lot of, obviously it's a mixture of indigenous people and Spaniards because right. of the conquest, but I thought I was, I was mostly Mexican, and not mostly Spaniard. And the other percentages are? Uh, Mayan. 
I'm Mayan. I thought it was Aztec this whole time. You're Mayan? And I'm Mayan, but I do think I was a Mayan princess now. I hope you still have some credibility left in the Latino community because, <laughs> I, know. I mean, you're an outsider now. You know, you shouldn't even be smashing eggs. Technically, what you did to me is not a tradition. It's, a, it's an assault. <laughs> by a Spaniard? <laughs> That's right, by a Spaniard. The Spaniards, why I own a love. Again, the uh, website is homeinhaiti.org. Go donate, send a tent to Haiti. And Desperate Housewives comes back to ABC yes. on April 18th. Eva Longoria Parker, everybody. We'll be right back.